clarify the cube. I want to say good day to the people of this world and to my Bahamian people. Today I am here to ask for reparation. And all I need is one other black human being on this planet, whether on one of the seven continents or on either of the islands in the sun. The Caribbean islands, just one other. I was called a coward by the mother of my children. A coward. I should look that word up in dictionary.com and then I will post in the world's medium what it mean to be a coward. Then I shall look for the opposite of that word and do the same. At this moment and at this time, my three children have been taken away from me because of what? Money. That they claim the Bahamian people, a Bahamian Amos J. Miller Israel, does not have. I asked this question to Mr. Bradley Roberts on yesterday. I await an answer. An ultimatum was given to him. I will not discuss that today. But it is, I will say, in the total context, it is monumental. So some fool question, why haven't black people living in Africa, built, living in shacks built out of sticks, had the audacity to say if black people created the wonders of the world how is it them living today have not been able to do to duplicate that which have marveled the world well the powers that be in this world will tell you all very shortly that Amos J. Miller Israel is the natural deal natural in some sense of the word that in the total context the the, the person who have tried to this time I have it on my YouTube in my YouTube history I should upload that, hopefully t today, doesn't matter. The African human race created, bro, the pyramids in Egypt. Trust me on that. I am a direct descendant of everything that represents Africa and the North. Not only West, but also East. The people in the South, the East, the West, and the North. I'm here to tell you all, it is absolutely an atrocity how we have turned on each other for the love of the good dollar. And in some cases, the love of being and becoming a good Christian. So you could get your hand on that good dollar. Well, 
This is the Asher crazy. A Sarah of the highest order. Son of God. Such as myself have not turned nor betrayed. I cannot put myself in his shoe. Because of some wrong I would have done as a black man in this world, I challenge the status quo. Take a good look at who Amos J. Miller Israel is today. Willis Miller, W I L L I S Miller, M I L L E R, was my grandfather and he served in World War II. He did what he was instructed to do. And the world, in respect to democracy, won over the invaders. At the time. Your business is your business. Your business is my business. My business is your business. But yet, my business is my business. How could your business be your business? My business be my business. But everything that is my business, you own. But I cannot touch your business. Let's entertain the world for a moment. Willis Miller served in World War II in respect to the Bahamas Islands, Acklands Island, okay? He was my father's father. There is not much Bahamian alive today in respect to Bahamian history in regard to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights document proclaimed by the, the General Assembly of our world. That was a good generation. Yet, who was man? and what was in our heart. And yet, paper and pen at, and at the end of the day became lords. And these lords have cost me today. And these lords have cost me today because their successors does not have no respect for them. So I need their successors to have respect for them so their word could become life to individuals in this world. Thus, the royal seed of this world lives. Now what is a royal seed? Amos, in respect to Amos, that's a different question. But I'll answer it in respect to Amos. A royal seed in, in this context for Amos in the Bahamas is a simple fact in respect to history. My birth in 1970 in the home of this man, Willis Miller, at the time I born in 1970, okay, he would have, had, have led the Acklands Crooked Island and Lonky Association for at least five years, founding one of the founding fathers. So a young lady asks, when does father comes into the picture in respect to God? Well, you know, God manifested. Man knows this. Great, powerful, influential man knows this. And when a son, a Sarah, shows up in the name of the Yeshua, whose history goes and dates back to great, great men of Africa, but spiritually to Yahweh, Ra, everything that represents life, now, you think I'm going to perish spiritually because your time is up, lie, liars, imposters, invaders, 
murderers, thieves, crooks and robbers of the truth and the true people of the truth from the truth. I am not perfect but there is perfection for all. It is called unity in respect to the truth. Well, some would, might, some would argue you might as well cause World War III because that is not going to happen anytime soon unless God shows up. And I'm here to say to the world, in the spirit of the Christ, he showed up in my life to speak the truth and to exhibit the truth. <clears throat> Excuse me. The natural resources of this country will cause me to be a better young man in this world. The brothers in that prison, in, in those prison, in the prison, in the, under the name her reigning sovereign, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth Alexander Mary II prison in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas in 2013, it is an absolute disgrace. And every parliament, opening of parliament, every time the word, Mr. Speaker, is answered or, or spoken by the head of state representative for the Queen, for the reigning sovereign of our, of our Commonwealth of the Bahamas, our politicians who walk the streets with us, who came in our homes and we gave our last and anything and everything we had, not knowing, given our last was exactly part of the overall plan in respect to defrauding and fraud. Defraud and the defraudment of our inherent dignity, much less inherent resources of our country. So I serve a notice to the world system. And on the 13 minute mark, I should end this conversation. And I trust and I ask that those who has a home, you know, in respect to the Bahamas government and the governments of the world and General Electric, Jeffrey R. Melt and anyone else on the planet, to my respects though, all to the leaders of this world. No one should have an opportunity to work in this country and Amos J. Miller Israel and his family treated the way he was treated by the Progressive Liberal Party and the Free National Movement, Ministers of Finance, past and present.